Hello, I'm Luga Torix, and welcome to part 6 of the Greek Cities campaign on Rome Total War. And things are going pretty well, I would say. Um, but the thing is, we haven't really expanded far enough in Sicily. We have been basically defending Syracuse since the very, very beginning. And I think it really is time to move out. Now, the issue I have is if I move out, let's say, towards Lilibium, the Scipii could take advantage. Captain Vibius could come over, besiege Syracuse, then we're pretty screwed. So what I really want to do is try and get a ceasefire of one of these two factions. Now, not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Now, honestly, the Scipii are looking pretty weak. Unless there is a force over here, which I can't see, which is quite possible, they're not looking hugely strong. Captain Vibius, that's... Uh, it's a decent sized army. And then we have Masana, not many troops in Masana. The Carthaginians, provided that all their forces in Lilibium, which it might not be, has only that though, which is probably better for us to go for. We don't have much missile fire, which is very, very annoying. We really do need some missiles, but as the diplomat is here, let's see if we can get ceasefire with the Carthaginians. They might not accept. In fact, I think it's quite likely they won't accept. Yeah. So in which case, right, move over here. Is there anyone over here of the Scipii? Well, there's two Carthaginians over there, so we don't particularly want to be fighting them. And there is another Scipii army over here. Pretty small, though. It's only one Hastati, so really, if we're going to go for anyone, it should probably be the Scipii. So what's the force we can muster up? Dionysius of Sparta and his adopted son. Let's just get out of here for a second. No mercenaries available, unfortunately. We've got one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five units of good hoplites. Right. Then we have five units of... Militia hoplites, which I don't rate at all. There isn't a huge... That isn't amazing. It really isn't. I mean, these ones have a bit of experience to them, so you could argue they're a bit better, but honestly, they're not amazing at all. Right, if we just brought these five hoplites along, and then we attacked the Romans, what would it even say the balance of power was? Right, so, the, the Scipii are willing to fight just Captain Vivius, so no reinforcements. Uh, so he's got a ton of Hastati and Equites. Now... These guys can stand up to Astarte, but the thing is they've got Peeler as well. Sorry, very slightly losing my voice, I'm not really sure why. I don't feel confident fighting that, to be honest, I really don't feel confident fighting that. I will stay there, if they want to attack us they're welcome to, but... We need some more force in this region, we really do. Syracuse, just get, get, get some more hoplites in, I'm a bit worried about Sicily to be honest. That probably wasn't the best idea moving out of Syracuse. Who knows? Right. Now, the Macedonians, they haven't attacked Larissa yet. They have still six turns to do it. If they don't do it next turn, I will just attack them, because I'm getting a bit bored of waiting for them when we could be moving forward. The same goes for the Brutii. They've got five turns to attack. Hopefully, they do it soon, because I just want to defend Termon. We can't actually physically get to Titus Brutus. There's not a lot we can do in that regard. And there we go. Okay. So, we do have this army moving towards Mazakar. Cleonymus is moving towards Mazakar, which is good. I think we've done all we can. I'm ready to end the turn. We're probably going to be attacked somewhere. Definitely at least our navy will be attacked. That's for sure. In fact, talking of navies, let's get some recruitment going on in Pergamum. Yeah. Okay, end of turn. So the Scipii did attack us. Captain Vibius. Now, so Captain Vibius has attacked us. Now, the problem is, the only thing I'm worried about the Hastati is the Peeler. I'm wondering if we should back off, you know. I don't feel confident fighting loads of Hastati when half of our army is built of militia hoplites. I'm going to back off. If they want to chase us, then we haven't got much choice. No. Right, okay. Well, they have attacked us again. We haven't got a huge amount of choice, so let's let's get out of here and um, see if we can deal with the Scipii here. This will be tough. Right, here we are. Now, I was hoping we were going to have some sort of terrain advantage, but it seems like we haven't. Yeah, this is slightly concerning, actually. Uh, there is absolutely no terrain advantage for any of us anywhere. So, that is completely flat ground. Now, the thing is, I just don't trust the Militia Hoplites to stand their ground. They're really, they're really letting me down recently. Let's just get, I mean, the thing is, if we got these five Hoplites, they can spread along like this. Okay, I'm going to get those five Hoplites plus this more experienced unit of Militia Hoplites to have a line along here. We're then going to do two units of Militia Hoplites on the sides. They're going to be ready to just move across like that and trap any units that charge there. And they're protecting the flank against the cavalry charge because they do have equites, remember. And then the same goes for these guys, get a nice bit of symmetry going on here. That's as best as we can do. And that's relatively hard to get past. We have cavalry over here, so the cavalry can just sort of go like this. This is going to be a tough fight. 
Right, start the battle, let's see how it goes. Skippy and I are moving at an angle, so I'm going to move just to face them a little bit. Okay, we're in position. Their peeler is going to do so much damage, that's the annoying thing. It's a very annoying thing. And if a few of the militia hoplites break, then it could reduce the morale of the whole army. So, we'll see how it goes. I am slightly concerned here. Right, they're coming in. And it looks like they haven't actually fired their peeler. They have literally just charged straight in. Cavalry around the side. This is good, in fact. This is good. Guys, get around the side here. Get around the side here. Uh, general, general, general. This unit charge. Right, you get around here. Run around there. Run around there. Okay, general, where are you? One unit of Skippy I broke. You're running all the way over there. Not good, not good. Get out, get out. Right, those are starting to shake. And a good charge into them, they might break. They're wavering. They're broken. Good. We've actually got units of Astarte breaking. You need to get some Marian reforms, I think, guys. Right. They're wavering. Break them. We're actually managing... I'm really surprised how well our hoplites are doing. More Skippy Eye breaking because, well, the last... Yeah, we're getting a mass route going on here. Oh, my goodness. This has been far better than I thought. I didn't even... No way one of our generals died. No. The young lad died. The adopted kid died. I don't know how he did it. He just charged into the back of a starty. Oh, well. Ah, oh, that's annoying. We had wrapped up the battle as well. Like, there was no need for him to die. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, this went far easier than I thought it was going to. I mean, this is very hard, very hard difficulty. I would have thought it would be a lot harder than this. But, okay, they collapsed. There are a starty that have recovered, admittedly. But, okay. Now, hopefully those are starting to just charge into the hot plates. You guys move back slightly, so you you just get forward. What are they? They're, they're shaken, yeah. Wow, we're just going to charge a lot of these Astarte down. I think they're actually retreating, you know, because those guys look like they're retreating. We've got down a lot of Astarte there. You know what, they're shaken. Let's get... No, no, rather than you, get the lad that's already dead. You might as well just... Um, if we're going to risk a unit of cavalry, we might as well risk a unit that is going to go after this battle anyway. Yeah, I didn't even do a lot of commentary there because I was a bit, like, worried about how things were going to go. But actually, it went pretty decently. Yeah, run over there. Don't go into that eager unit. We are clearing out a large proportion of the Scipii Hastati. They're a large proportion of their infantry, which they will struggle. They will struggle to get back quickly, which is good. And that means that their strength has been seriously reduced on the mainland. Yeah. Wow, okay. Very, yeah, very surprised they broke. I just think they're starting maybe a slipping behind us in terms of technology because these guys have such good defense and they've got decent morale as well. They're starting are becoming... And then once one unit broke because the um, general charged into the back of them, just got a mass route going. But, wow, okay. Right, they're shaking. Go and get them down. How are these guys doing? They're probably still eager, you know. Let's just go and chase those guys off. Right, how's he doing? We don't want this geezer to die. If he dies, then we've got trouble. We've got big trouble. Wavering. I can't believe that other general died. That's really annoying. But there we go. This general's got himself up to silver experience, which is nice. The one that's actually alive. That's good to see. Yeah, and only one unit for starter remains. Beautiful. Right, this you get this you get this unit is very eager. Or it's eager, sorry. So if we get one guy around the back and then we get a general at the front. If we surround him, he should not be quite so eager anymore, I reckon. So, yeah, he's steady already because he can see that we are surrounding him. He's shaken, wavering. He might just break anyway, but we'll get the other general in there as well. Wavering broken. Good. Victory. There we go. Continue the battle. Get those guys down. I can't believe we lost a general there, though. That's very, very annoying, but okay. Okay. Yeah, and there we go. Right. Who's still around? No one. Heroic victory. 746 kills to 97. Good start for Dionysius of Sparta against the Scipii. But real shame this geezer died. But oh, it's a unit of heavy cavalry just gone. That that really shouldn't have happened. But, um, oh well, okay. Hopefully he gets someone else, you know. But, yeah. Anyway, good good proportion of the um, Scipii dealt with. And actually now, somebody else has gone and attacked us. Aulus Scipio. It's a general and two units of Astarte. Well, <laughs> really, he should have come when the other guys had come. Then maybe there would have been a, a bigger fight and more difficult a battle. If we defeat this guy as well, bear in mind the balance of power is very much in our favour, then Masana looks very, very weak. All of a sudden, the Scipio have just thrown all their forces into proper hoplites, and they're kind of screwed up. So, 
yeah, I'm willing to fight this, let's go. Right, here we are in, I think, exactly the same battlefield. We just started over there last time, yeah. Well, we're going to do, I think, exactly the same. It worked last time, so we'll get the... These units of a star... Uh, sorry, not a star hoplite, and this more experienced unit in a nice line like this. Good. We'll get two units of hoplites around this side. In fact, we'll get a unit of stronger hoplites. Two units of hoplites, that's three units. Counting skills, not the best. Two units of hoplites over here. We'll get another two units of hoplites on the other side, and then we'll get the general in behind. Real shame, though. We don't have that extra cavalry, but there we go. Right, there we go. General in behind. And a weird thing the AI didn't do is they didn't really throw their peeler. They did a bit on this flank, but they didn't really throw their peeler before charging in. They just charged in straight away, and that meant that they couldn't get a lot of damage in beforehand, which we wouldn't have been able to defend. And it meant that our morale was still high when they actually charged into us, so very interesting stuff. Now, hopefully, we can kill our Aula Scipio here. That would be really, really good. That's exactly what we need to do here. Because I don't particularly want to face him in Misana. But even if we do, we have Hoplites, so we should be able to deal with them. Okay, they're charging in. As soon as their general charges in, I'm getting Dionysius of Sparta to charge around the back of him, trapping him between Hoplites, and hopefully he won't be able to escape. So, ah, but their Hastati of, um... Mm, their Hastati did a good job there. Right, let's get my general around the side here. Yeah, their Hastati are coming in. Good. Right, general around the back. Now, hopefully their general might be trapped actually between his own Hastati, believe it or not. So, their general wants to get out of there. Yeah, we're going to intercept him, hopefully. Uh, we didn't really intercept him. Well, two units of Hastati are broken. We just need to get their general down now. Their general is wavering. Let's just get on the general, please, quickly. If we can kill him, that would be great. He's wavering. Let's get him broken without my general dying. He's, he's routing. I think he might get away. I think the bastard might get away. Well, we'll continue. I think he's going to get away because he's just as fast as us. Oh, dear. That's a bit of a shame we weren't actually able to trap him. But at least we won pretty convincingly. I don't know why they ever attacked us. It was a stupid decision in the first place. Yep, Aula Scipio, the coward, is going to get away. I can sense it. Oh, if we just had missiles, then we would have been able to get him down. Okay, we'll get the Hastati down. And that's a very, very simple battle. Those are starting, managed to get away, which is a bit annoying. Uh, let's just get this geezer down. Yeah, that's like half a unit of Astarte, or maybe less than that, managed to get away. But we did kill 91% of them. So we can start moving on Masana very, very quickly now. That was a very, very good victory. Surprised they have attacked us, to be honest. That was stupid. A couple of stupid moves from the Skippy Eye, but I'm very happy about that. It's actually gone very well. Start this episode, it's gone pretty good indeed. Uh, yeah, that's really good stuff. Um, so what else is going on? Anyone else want to attack us? Not really. And candidate for adoption. Now, unfortunately, the benefactor is Cleonymus, so it means he'll be in Turkey. But this guy, superior command already, he's only 24, wall breaker, and been in the wars. This guy is good. Pandros of Lampas... Lamp Lampas... Pandaros. He's, he looks nice. So yeah, we'll absolutely take him. He looks like a solid, solid general. So, end of term report. We're not particularly bothered about that. Town grows. Pergamum. Good. Good. That's good to see that towns are growing. So, yeah, you get a governor's palace in after those roads are done. Lovely stuff. City expands now. Syracuse. Good. About flipping time. So, after your city barracks, get some councillor's chambers in. And, I mean, the thing is, do we really need councillor's chambers <laughs> at the moment? Because we still haven't even got proper, like... Stables or practice ranges. I think we'll hold out the council's chambers. We need a practice range after that. In fact, you can go and get it now after you've just done those barracks. So that's good. We, we It's good that Syracuse has grown, but not needed at the moment. Okay, heroic death. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. But Dionysius of Sparta, is, he's getting pretty decent. He's 42, though. It's a bit of a shame. But still, he's got a big part to play against the Scipio. And in fact... There are some mercenaries available. Uh, mercenary hoplites will pick them up for sure. So you can do that. Construction, recruitment, war declared between Spain and Gaul. Fair enough. So first of all, really, Dionysius of Sparta needs to put Masana under siege while there's basically no one in there. I mean, there is Cornelius Scipio, the faction leader in there. But we have got hoplites. So I feel like if there's any army that's going to be able to take Masana, it's probably us. So we will put Masana under siege. And we'll build a couple of rams, like so. Syracuse now has a bit of force. In fact, if they could swap out, you come over here, and then maybe swap like two units of militia hoplites. Right, we'll move. We'll 
Fine, okay. Well, we've got another unit of hoplites in, which is the important thing. Yep, yeah, just keep recruiting hoplites, please. That's lovely. There's no Carthaginians nearby, so we should be okay. So hopefully we can take Masana next turn. Let's just get this diplomat over here. I want to see what the Carthaginians are doing. Because yes. if they're near us, that's a little bit concerning. But they don't seem to be, which is which is good indeed. Right. Firstly, Termont is no longer under siege because, well, Doris of Sparta came over. There's some mercenaries available. Good ones as well. Cretans and Hoplites. We'll pick them up. And we will attack Titus Brutus because he will probably back off. He does back off. Now, potentially... We could just kill Titus Brutus here. It's possibly what we should do, you know. So Doris Sparta, the 19-year-old, sober, gourmet of life, publicly loyal, which is a bit bad. Confident attacker, good commander in the pink. This guy, you know, he needs to get a bit of experience. Let's get him to kill Titus Brutus and weaken the Bruti as much as we can. We might as well as we're here. Okay, here we are. It's a bit of an odd terrain there is uh, you can see the port over there of where are we not Apollonia Termon I believe yeah I lost my bearings then okay let's just move back for a second so I can see what we're doing now obviously hoplites are going to hold the front line this unit of hoplites a little bit weaker so they're probably not going to get involved we'll just get these three units of hoplites in in fact yeah yeah we'll get these three units of hoplites in you guys can just be in behind as a fail safe the Thracians can be behind, um, basically just to chase probably off the Welletes because Thracians are pretty fast. Peltas, you sort of do the same, but on the other flank. Cretan archers, though, they're going to be doing the main work uh, over here. In fact, Peltas, honestly, Peltas just stand here. You're probably not going to be needed. Just get off fire at will. Just go like that. But Cretan archers at the back, they're going to be firing in, hopefully killing the general. General's bodyguard, just sort of stand around here, protected by your hoplites. In fact, these hoplites can just protect the general like that. There we go. That's... A nice little force we got there. So we'll group them up and we'll start the battle. And they are all the way up there. Now, unfortunately, they've got a massive high ground advantage. But it's all right. We have the missile advantage. Wow, they really do have a missile. I'm um, sorry, a high ground advantage, though. So we'll move up as much as we can to level the terrain for us. Wow, we're all moving along. And this poor unit of hoplites is a little bit isolated on its own. But it's all right. It's all right. We're getting up towards the Bruti. Possibly, if we stood here, we'd actually get the high ground advantage on them. Let's really screw them over. This unit of Welletes has come forward. Okay, they're being a little bit aggressive now. So let's just step here nice and quick. Because I want to be prepared for them. So, yeah, slightly concerned that the general is going to cause a bit of trouble here. Obviously, don't want their general killing my general. So let's just bait him over here for a second. General, get back here. Okay, we need my general to evade Titus Brutus, but if we can, bait him into the hoplites and he'll be a little bit screwed. So we're going to chase him over here. These guys are skirmishing. I actually don't really want the Cretans to skirmish, but they might have to for the moment. Welletes, if they're charging straight into hoplites, they're going to be screwed. So you get into the Welletes, you get into the Welletes. Cretans, probably just, yeah, just fire wherever you want to. You need to get around the front here. I want Titus Brutus to charge straight into prepared hoplites. That's exactly what I want. Slightly disorderly because we weren't really prepared for their charge. But then, go behind the phalanx. Go behind the phalanx nice and quick. Nice and quick. Be quicker than that. Oh, just in time. Just in time. Right. The Welletes are running off. They're routing. And the general is going to charge into the spears. No, he's not. Okay, Cretans, fire on the general. Right. Don't know exactly what these hoplites are doing. You're completely out of position. So just get over here quickly. They can't run off. They were backed into a corner, right? Surely they're not allowed to run off. No, they can't run off, exactly. In fact, lads, I put you in a formation for a reason. Get into this formation nice and quick. That you originally were in. Now, Cretans, I forgot to take you off skirmish mode. You get off skirmish mode. The same goes for you. Good. Now, the Cretans can't quite reach the general, so we will move slightly forward. Slightly forward so we can reach the general. We want the general going into the hot plights. Right, they're now coming forward. Our spears are prepared. You start hitting the general, please. And we'll try and get him to go forward. Welletes are throwing Pila at my mercenary hot plights, which I can't retrain. Annoying. Let's see if we can charge into these Welletes, get a few of them down. Yeah, they're already steady. Okay, then get back, get back. Get back, general. For goodness sake. 
Soon the Wellites have got to run out of missiles. If we charge up the hill at them, yeah, then they back off. That's a problem. The Cretans are doing a good do job, though, getting the general down, which is nice. He is, he's gone down a little bit, but they keep backing off the stupid Wellites. If you're going to fight me, fight me, damn it. Go on, this unit is isolated. Let's get the general charging. They're going to run off. They're pretty fast, Wellites. We'll back, back off for a little bit. Right, my general eventually gets a charge into the Wellites. Hopefully they go down pretty quickly. They're shaken. General's reacted to that. So run back, run back, run back. That unit of Wellites is broken. Good. That unit of Wellites is shaken. I really need their general to come forward now. Come on, this Wellites is steady. If we get a good charge into them, they might go down. While the general is distracted by the Cretans hitting them. They're going to run off, the bastards. They're going to run off. There we go. Charge in. Charge in. They're going down. Their general reacts to that. So let's get out of there for a second. Get out of there. Good, and then run back behind the phalanx. Now hopefully this time the general commits into their phalanx, or into our phalanx rather, sorry. I'm hoping he does. Titus Brutus, you know you want to charge into prepared hoplites. You know you do. Run, run. Oh my god, my general stopped running. My bad, my bad. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh no, I screwed everything up. I always mess everything up, don't I? I'm an idiot. Right, Titus Brutus doesn't go into the hoplites. Damn. Damn it. He's refusing to go into the hoplites. The AI is clever. The AI knows what's up. I don't know if this has even been worth it, to be honest. We might have just taken more losses than... Maybe we should have just let them get away. I'm not entirely sure. As long as my general doesn't die, though, I'm relatively happy. We're going to charge forward. Wait for their general to react. Their general has not reacted at all. We're right near to him. He's not reacting. Right, guys, move forward a bit. Move forward a bit. If the Wellites want to come forward, we'll deal with them. I'm going to get my Peltas a bit forward, see if they can hit the general and try and either kill him or get him to go into the hot plights. So you can reach the general from there. You fire your javelins in at him. 75 of you. You should be able to do a decent job. Nope, you barely got any of them down. He's not reacting at all. The Wellites are doing a good amount of damage to us. General, get around the side here. Hopefully these casualties can be healed. Javelin and arrow shots, generally they can get healed better than swords. So that's what I'm hoping for. Let's just chase this unit properly off now. So they're broken. Let's get many of them down. Don't want them to keep attacking me. It's annoying. Their general is so docile, he's doing nothing. Okay, he generally, now he's, now he's attacking, now he's attacking. Run, 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 run over here. No, get stuck in the Wellites. Don't get stuck in the Wellites. Run, keep running. Keep running, Doros. Now run down the hill. Get him into those stupid hot plates. This battle's been more trouble than it's worth. Really has been. Right, behind the line, he eventually charges in. Thank goodness. Can we kill him now? He just went straight through the line, really. Right, Doros, round the back. You guys are out to skirmish, get back. And can we just kill the general, please? I really want this guy down. He is routing. Can we now kill him? Can we now kill him? Yes, finally he's dead. This has been sort of worth it. Um, what's he called? Ty yeah, he is Titus Brutus. Good. Right, finally, um, we've actually managed to do this. Hopefully, Doris Asparza gets some good traits, or at least some good experience from this. Yeah, victory. The Wellites are gone now. We'll chase them down. At least we've got rid of this Roman army. We can retrain the majority of our troops that we've lost here, because they're just hoplites. The only ones we can't retrain are the mercenary hoplites, but it's not the end of the world. We've got quite a few Wellites down. I mean, 166 kills to 94. We should have done better there, but... They had the high ground advantage, it kind of screwed us over a bit, and the general just refused to charge into the hot plates until the very end, where he eventually died. But, <sighs> okay. Doris of Sparta, at least he gets a bit of experience from that. No traits, unfortunately, which is a bit typical, but yeah, he's, um, he's doing alright. Okay, and we did recover some troops, you can see the hot plates are now back up at the 60. Okay, so anyway, the lads at turn 1 have been dealt with, let's have a look at 
Abreas. Now, is he willing to... Well, first of all, let's pick up some mercenaries if there are some. They're only Illyrians and Peltas, but they're better than nothing. We, had, we don't have a lot of missile fire, so we'll take that. Is Abreas willing to fight if we attack him? He is. Now, it's... Okay, so let's have a look. It's him. It's two phalanx pikemen and then one levy pikeman versus, I'm surprised he's willing to fight to be honest, versus the army you just saw of Calchas of Petra, who's a decent young lad, he's alright, and Cleomenus of Sparta, who is our faction leader getting a bit old, in fact, he needs to start putting over some of his retinue maybe over to uh, the younger lad, but anyway, so if Abrias is willing to fight, yeah, bring it on, I would say, let's do this. Right, so here we are. Now, we better be controlling both armies. I did definitely put it for the AI not to control Cleomenus of Sparta, the faction leader. Because if he dies, <laughs> because of that, that'd be annoying. But honestly, I think this army in its own, probably good enough to defeat Abrias. But obviously, if we have reinforcements, we might as well use them. Two armoured hoplites. Is this the first time we've used armoured hoplites? It might well be, actually, in this campaign. They are good, basically. They are, they are good. So, you guys stand there. We'll have the... Peltas, whatever, in front of them, they can retreat behind the line when the geezers get too close. But they can do a good amount of damage to the phalanx pikemen, the levy pikemen, etc. General's bodyguard at the back. So you guys, you're in a group like this. Now, do we control the reinforcements? We do. But honestly, the reinforcements are pretty much nothing, apart from the general himself as the only decent unit. So what we could do, you guys stay over there, but general, run over here. In fact, where, where are the Macedonians? They're running off. No, they don't want any of this. Oh, well. Yeah, okay, they're running off straight away, I think. Although they might just be moving over there. Okay, no, credit to them. I think they're just moving over there. Fair enough. I'm not going to bother to bring any of these guys over because they're just going to break and then they're going to cause morale damage. So, might as well just wait for Cleomenus to get over. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with what we're doing here. Right, so extra 44 heavy cavalry. You can stand over here. And then we'll get into formation, turn to face the Macedonians, and I think we'll be absolutely fine. And this is good. This is really excellent. We can now start moving towards Thessalonica and the Bylazora region, getting there before the Brutii do, and then just holding the cities with armoured hoplites. Once we do that, we can sort of do a counter-attack against the Brutii, similar to what we've done with the Macedonians. They had our settlements under siege. We countered against them. You know, that's what we're doing. They might be backing off for real now. Or they're just moving over there. Maybe they can't decide where they want to set up. I have a feeling they might be going for good. Yep. I think they're going for good. Okay, well... Either way, we're going to get... You can you can prolong the inevitable if you wish to. But you're, you're still going to die at some point. So... Oh well, at least Larissa is no longer under siege. It means that we can now... Rebuild move out of there and move up north before the brutality I do like I was explaining. Clear victory, zero kills to zero. Okay. Right, so he backs off into the distance. That is a Macedonian spy, unfortunately, not our spy. So, what do we need to do? Well, obviously Larissa needs to... Oh, the walls aren't even broken. Yeah, of course they're not. Nobody ever actually attacked. So get those militia barracks in, get some wooden walls in. Um, just recruit some militia hoplites for now because I feel like you might be a little bit Yeah, you might be a little bit on the undefended side, but in general Larissa I'm pretty happy with In fact you can retrain those guys then just recruit you know militia hoplites and you should be fine Really though Cleomenus needs to first of all join this army of Calchas of Petra and then you if you could transfer some of your retinue over, that would be quite nice. So what's good that you've got? You've got a wrestler. That's decent. That is pretty decent. Shield bearer. Yeah, we might as well bring a shield bearer over to Calchas. Slave trader, I'm not that bothered about. But let's have the wrestler. It's, you know, it's all right. Now, now Calchas, we can have a look at him. Oh, Calchas. Got a bit of retinue as well. So he's a little bit safer in battle, basically, which is quite nice. So there we go. Beautiful stuff. So clear me into Sparta. I think he should start moving north. I mean, there might be a few hoplites that can join him. For example, we have two in Athens that could join him. Yes, so you guys start heading up here. Do we have anything else? We have we have a few lads in Sparta, but I reckon they're probably going to go towards Sicily or towards the Brutii. They're probably not going to head up towards Macedonia, is my point. So, yeah, this geezer, Pandaros, probably is going to go over to Sicily. 
So he's going to stay there for the moment. What do we do with this guy, Doros? Now, he could head towards the Brutii, but probably a little bit early to be doing that, I think. That's probably not the best idea. And some of these lads could do with a little bit of retraining, you know, a bit of R&R, &R basically. Where are the spies where you need them? That's what I want to know. We have no spies in the region, which is annoying because we basically have absolutely zero view of Macedonia. Oh, are you a spy? Beautiful, you are. So we can see what's going on with the Brutii, not a lot. Let's head up towards the Macedonians and see how much force they've got. Okay, so we head over here. Thessalonica has a decent amount in it. Solid amount. Bylozora, which we did have a view of, but now we don't, has only four garrison in it. Now, the good thing about having Byzantium is that we could potentially start attacking from the north. And then that would remove some troops from Thessalonica because they would be going up to help Byzantium. Uh, sorry, Bylozora. So that's a possibility. But what I think we should do, clear Minas. Head up here. Just head up here for the moment. Get a watchtower in because I just want permanent view of the Macedonians from here. There we go. So we get a bit of a view of what's going on. You can be joined by two extra armoured hoplites next turn. And yeah, there's nothing really else in Larissa that you need particularly. They're going to just recruit. You, Doros of Sparta, I mean, could possibly go and get a boat to... Sicily, I mean, we always need troops in Sicily. There, you know, there aren't a huge amount. But how's our navy going? Look, this this isn't a navy. We have a navy over here. We have a navy over here that could bring you, potentially. And we could potentially bring these lads along as well. In fact, I have an idea. So, we lost the army that was going to take Halicarnassus. So, Pandaros, you can go and take Halicarnassus. So, you, two armoured hoplites, get out of here. Go over towards here. There aren't any real troops in this region, but there is a navy, I think. Nope, there's no navy in Athens. I thought there was. Right, okay. Well, what about if you go into Athens, then we can, rather than recruit hoplites just for one turn, retrain you and actually just recruit another unit of Byremes. Then you can get on this boat, go over to what is now Monday, Turkey, go and take Halicarnassus. Bear in mind, in fact, no, we have a navy here. What am I talking about? Yeah, this navy can come over from Rhodes. So now retrain those guys and instead of recruiting a unit of Byreme, recruit some hoplites. You can bring the extra hoplite over, over to Halicarnassus. That should be plenty enough to deal with them. We do have a bit of force in this region if we need that necessarily. But I'm pretty happy with what's going on. And then you, that means Doris of Sparta, rather than heading towards the Brutio, which I've already explained, don't particularly want to do, you probably should be heading towards the um, Scipii or the Carthaginians, of course, in Sicily. So... We have this fleet here. This fleet comes over here, collects, not not you, collects Doros of Sparta. If I can actually see where the flipping boat is. There it is. Collects Doros of Sparta. And in fact, okay, okay, okay. Doros, you might as well just get off here for the moment, just in case this navy does get attacked. But next turn, you can get back on the boat and go towards Sicily. That's beautiful. Anyone that's good that can be recruited in turn one? Yeah, hoplites. Bring bring them along as well. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And then actually, this navy... Oh, there's, an, there's an army on this boat. There's four hoplites on this boat. I didn't even know that. We could possibly go towards the Brutii with this. Maybe Doros should be going towards the Brutii, you know? You know what? If that is the case, I think Doros should be going towards the Brutii. So, in fact, this boat can come up. This boat can stay there. Instead of going to Sicily straight away, I want Doros to retake Apollonia. That's going to be the plan, I think. That's really good. That's excellent stuff. Right. Now, this geezer has a lot to do in this campaign. This geezer is heading towards Mazakar. Now, who... Why? Colonia... Cleonymus. Now, his path is being blocked by Captain Lucon. So, I dare you to fight me. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought. He backs off to a bridge. I'm not going to fight him on a bridge, that's for sure. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put your city under siege. So, sorry, mate. So, Mazakar under siege, couple of rams, and we are making good progress into Turkey. Cleonymus is turning out pretty decent. He is, you know, he's done some good stuff. End of turn. Right, Brutia have put Termon under siege. Okay, so we'll need to sort them out. Um, other than that, not a lot's happened so far. They, well, the Mastons, they reinforced Thessalonica, which I don't blame them. They probably saw us coming. Other than that, very little happening, apart from this navy, which has been attacked by pirates. Oh, no, for God's sake. Every time we get a decent navy, it gets attacked by pirates. They've been backed off to Christ knows where, but in general, not too bad. I don't want to see the construction report. I know we're, we're doing a lot. 
Alliance announced between Germania and Thrace. Okay, fair enough. Right. I think we should start off in Masana because we could potentially take it right now. No Skippy I have turned up. Which is a bit sad for them, really. And we've got a ton of hoplites ready to kill Cornelia Scipio, Aula Scipio, who unfortunately got away from our last fight, Hastati, and Equites. I think we have a really good chance. Sadly, no missile troops, but I really want to go and take Masana now. So, here we are in Masana, which, oddly enough, does not have proper walls yet. That, that surprises me. I would have thought they did. But hey, it suits us. Now, as I said, we have an absolute ton of hot plights that can just go here, here, and here, and just break down the walls. We're going to swarm the plaza basically from every direction. So everyone that isn't holding on RAM, which is basically all of you but you two, I don't really want to get the cavalry involved. Not necessary. Why would we waste the, um, or risk the cavalry when it's not needed? So yeah, start the battle. You hit the walls down beautiful and then you guys just start heading towards the gate but obviously out of the range of the towers right the gateway is down we're just getting these walls down which is nice walls are down excellent now this unit of that's just equites that's just equites we can just swarm the equites straight away so uh you three enter the city on this side i'm gonna pause it quickly you three enter the city i said pause you three enter city from that side um you four enter the city from this side and then when, once they've done that and they're surrounded, these lads will enter from the front and the Equites will be swarmed. I mean, the Equites won't survive against one unit of Hoplites, I would imagine, especially not about seven or eight from all sides. So, yeah, good luck, lads. Okay, the Equites have gone straight for these Hoplites. That's rude. Get on them. Get on them nice and quick. Guys, get on them. They might actually get a unit of Hoplites down just because they were so quick. They were quicker than I thought to uh, pounce, but it's all right. If, even if they get a unit of hot bites down, yeah, they, I'm sorry, I went way too fast then, I didn't mean to. And um, basically, they routed once more hot bites came in, which is what was going to happen there. Right, let's get the strongest hot bites going down the street. So, right, for a start, let's just get the three units of strongest hot bites getting down the street nice and quickly, please. Bear in mind, hopefully, with their, uh, their you know, buildings, these guys should be retrained even if they go down a little bit. Now, it's basically just a ton of cavalry and a bit of Hastati. The Hastati are a bit of a concern because they can throw Peeler. But hopefully, we can just get the general charging straight into units of Hoplites. Yep, there we go. There we go. He charged straight in. And he died. He died straight away out of Scipio. That's one of the generals charged in. Well, they're not going to get through three layers of strong Hoplites. That is for sure. Yeah, he might be eager now, but he's not going to be eager for long. And the other general, the other general is both stuck in. Yeah, they're both really stuck in. This guy's 46 heavy cavalry, though, still. And they have managed to break one unit of hoplites. Let's get some more coming down the street, please. More coming down the street. But one unit of hoplites has broken. That's fine. That's fine. We can recruit some more. And we're getting more to come over, which is good as well. You guys, why don't you come in as well? Help your friends out. Bear in mind, these guys are still eager, which is nice. But they are getting a little bit swarmed here is a bit concerning and their general is not going down very quickly you know their general is strong their general is not messing around and our phalanx is kind of being broken but we have dispensable units of phalanx we have a ton of phalanx around here so it should be okay 34 he's down to 33 yeah we have taken too many losses here second unit of hoplites break let's get some more coming over okay those hoplites all broke <laughs> credit to i mean it's two roman generals to be fair you guys start coming up the street Guys, you need to get your spears down. General charges in. I mean, the spears aren't down. Oh, they're not in phalanx. Why are they not in phalanx? Oh, for God's sake. We're, we're losing too many men because of stupid stuff like that. Right, finally the second general goes down. Okay, good. Right, so he is Cornelius Scipio, the faction leader. That's why he was so strong. The faction leader charged in. And he's not messing around. Shaken. Make sure everyone is in phalanx, for goodness sake. Well, their general's got more units of hoplites down. He's churning up hoplites, and eventually he breaks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They're not messing around. Right, okay. All the units of hoplites, they're just decent. So you guys will be able to do a job. Basically, all you guys. Walk down the street. Okay, get you two. Like this. Get two other ones coming up around here. Getting two other ones. Supporting them, we should be fine. Hopefully, 
So they're coming up, and we hopefully will be able to surround the plaza a little bit. Um, the remaining Roman generals came in. Yeah, they, uh, or the bodyguard came in. They just suffered instantly. Fine. And we are now surrounding the plaza. Okay, the Equites have just charged in now. They're going to suffer as well. They're just Equites. Now, the Peeler's going to do a bit of damage. We've taken far too many losses here. It's my own fault. It's absolutely my own fault. In fact, the Astarte are going to run in. But that's quite a few prepared hoplites. Guys, try and help out. Guys, get around the side here. No, that's the wrong direction. Get around the side here. You guys, around the side here. Be as quick as you can. I know you're slow-ass units, but try and surround the Astarte, please. So if we surround them like this, they should just churn down. Right, guys, spears down, get into the Astarte, and then, yeah, they stand no chance if we surround them like this. Beautiful. Okay, we did take too many losses there, which is a bit annoying. But, I mean, two generals, one of them was um, the faction leader. You know, you can't really expect much else, I suppose. But we, we could have been a bit more sensible about that. I kind of rushed it a bit. Yeah, they actually got more kills than us. But it's alright. It's a clear victory. The point is, we have Masana. Now, hopefully, they have actual um, barracks, good barracks, militia barracks, that will be able to retrain our hoplites that died then. But either way, pretty solid stuff, I'd say. So, their population is unhappy. Mm, I don't really want to exterminate. I'm going to enslave. And I hope. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, town grows. Oh, ta which town grows? Rhodes. Rhodes grows. Yeah, yeah. Well... You, you do that thing, so that's beautiful. So, Masana is now ours. Fantastic. Obviously, repair the walls is like an obvious priority. And I think we need to, well, we need to retrain these guys. We can retrain all these lads, which is excellent. We can get them all retrained by the next turn. And we can get hoplites in here already, which is nice. So, get those hoplites in. Okay, so Masana's going to look pretty strong. And the Carthaginians, they've got to be a little bit worried now. And so the Scipii as well. They're down to one settlement. Dionysius of Sparta, he's getting pretty decent now. He's getting pretty solid. He's a he's a victor. Which is nice. Yeah, I, I like Dionysius of Sparta. So do that. And honestly, for the moment, I mean a practice range would be nice. But just get a shrine to Nike in. In fact, no, get a shrine. Yeah, get a shrine to Nike going in. Just get a shrine to Nike first. He's my favourite. That's good. Syracuse is a bit unhappy. If we could bring a couple of troops over to Syracuse just to make them a bit happier. Maybe these hot plates could come over. They're still unhappy. Wait, is the tax rate lowest? Yeah, it is. We are going to get the shrine in, so it's not too much of an issue. How about if you come over as well? Still unhappy? Really? You ungrateful bastards. Uh, okay, we're just going to have to deal with it then, basically. You'll be unhappy for a turn. Right, the last thing you want to do this episode is deal with Termon. So, Aulus Brutus has come over with a decent sized army, but you can see they're slightly battered. 24 Wellites. Have we already fought Aulus Brutus? Is that why I remember his name? Firstly, pick up some mercenaries if we can. And, yeah, I was going to leave Termon right now, but it hasn't got a huge amount inside. So, don't particularly want to leave them like this. Uh, so, we might have to have a big battle with Doros of Sparta. Doros can stand here for the moment. Can he attack Aulus Brutus right now? He can, and Aulus Brutus will attack. But look at this. It's mostly Wellites and Equites, and even then, okay, the new faction there. We have Hoplites. I mean, I would like a bit more help, to be honest. And we do have a ship. Oh, yeah, we have this ship, don't we, full of Hoplites. Well, if we have a ship full of Hoplites, let's get them Come along like this. Join Doros of Sparta. Now do you want to attack Aulus Brutus, or do you want to back off? He still wants to attack, even though we have these hoplites. Well, next episode then, we can do that. Because he's not going to win if we have that many hoplites, and we have Cretan archers. We don't have a lot of cavalry, but it's fine. We have a strong army here. Doros can do a solid job, so he's going to be doing that. Now, finally, clear me of Sparta. He's heading up towards Thessalonica, which has been reinforced. Obviously, pick up some hoplites if you have an opportunity to. How strong is it looking? It is looking pretty decently strong to be fair but we could get back up from Byzantium but I don't want to leave it too exposed to the Thracians but how many turns does it take? It take what a solid three turns to get over? Like you might as well just come over or you could even go to Bylazora that would take three turns. Bylazora has a garrison of two in it so why don't you guys start heading along this direction obviously avoid Thracian territory we don't want to start a war with them Byzantium you can just recruit some um, hoplites just to make sure you have enough strength there. Clear Minas, I mean, I think you're probably strong enough to take Thessalonica, but I would like a few more troops. You know what, I'm going to stand there, 
and I'm going to put Desalon across the siege, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, I might leave it for a little bit until these hoplites come along. I feel like with these hoplites, we should be able to take Thessalonica, but might wait that for a little bit. Anyway, uh, enough messing around now. I think we are done for this episode. We'll take Mazakar next time. So next time, we're going to take Mazakar. We're going to move on from Masana, probably towards Lilibium, or maybe even the south of Italy. We're going to defend Termon. We're going to attack Thessalonica. And probably a lot more will happen as well. It's quite an exciting campaign. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around. Also, you move over towards this rebel army. Actually, don't do that. I want to see Bilozora. There we go. Beautiful. All right. See you around.